Okay, question number four um, from October 2018, Mechanics 1, International A level. It says a particle P of mass m kilograms is attached to one end of a light and extensible string of length 2.5 meters. Okay, so this string has a length of 2.5 meters. That's the length of the string. The other end of the string is attached to a fixed point A on, the, um, on a vertical wall. The tension of the string is 60 newtons. Okay, that's mentioned. The particle is held in equilibrium by a force of magnitude F newtons, which is over there, acting in the vertical plane, which is perpendicular to the wall and contains the string. Okay. Um, this force acts in a direction perpendicular to the string as shown. So there's a right angle between these two forces. Now that's going to be useful for us. That makes life a bit easy for us, actually. Given that the horizontal distance of P from the wall is 1.5 meters. Okay, so this horizontal distance from P to the wall is 1.5 meters. Okay, so let me just mark that in there. So that distance is 1.5 meters. Um, find the value of F and the value of M. Okay, so now this thing has a weight which acts vertically down. And that weight is mg. And we need to find m and f in this question. Okay, the forces are 60 newtons and f newtons and mg. Those are the forces. And this is the distances or the length of the string and how far this is from the wall. Okay, now, <coughs> there's two options we could, um, there's two options we could take when we're answering a question like this. One of them, is to resolve forces horizontally and vertically. So I could resolve this force F vertically and horizontally, um, and I need to find some angles here to do that, okay? Or, which I would much prefer to do, is if I find that the forces involved, like these two forces, are perpendicular to each other, if I resolve this third force in the direction which is parallel and perpendicular, okay, to these forces, Okay, so for example, if I resolve this force parallel to this F and perpendicular to this F, then I will have, um, you know, eliminated some of the unknowns from part of my equations. It makes life a lot easier that way, okay? So our objective now is to try to find, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line like this. Um, I'm going to resolve the mg. I'm going to try to resolve the mg in this direction here. Let me do it like that. In this direction here, and that direction there. So, I need to find basically um, what this angle is here. If I know what the angle is here, I can resolve this force. In this direction, this will be, let me call this this angle alpha. That will be mg going into the angle cosine alpha, and this will be mg times sine alpha. That way, I can resolve this force in this direction. So I'll have 2.5 equals mg cosine alpha. I won't have any f in that equation, and I can find what m is straight away. Okay, uh, sorry, not 2.5. That's the length. 16 equals mg cosine alpha. And on this direction, it will be F equals mg sine alpha. Okay, but I need to find what this angle alpha is. Now, what we can see here is this is like a right angle triangle up here. And let me call this angle, say, theta. I can find what this angle is. Okay, and I know that this angle here is 90 degrees. Okay, so if I find this angle, I know this is 90, I can find alpha. So let's find theta first. Theta is, we have the adjacent and we have the hypotenuse. We can say cosine of theta is 1.5 over 2.5. So theta, theta is going to be shift cosine 1.5 over 2.5. gives us 53.1 which I'll store as A. So that's 
3.13 dot 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 okay that's the angle over there so the angle we need you can see we got we got a situation like this we got we just found this angle okay and we know that this is 90 and we're going to find alpha so alpha is going to be and uh, one is going to be basically 180 minus 90 plus the angle we found theta so it's going to be uh, the angle we need alpha is going to be 180 minus 90 plus 53.13 so alpha is going to be 180 you're going to add 90 to this and you do 180 minus your answer 36.869 so 36.869 dot 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 that's the angle over there and we can save that as B okay so now let's look at the situation what I can do is I can resolve the forces in this direction in that case I'll have F F is equal to mg now this is mg sine alpha so it's mg times sine of 36 point oops, 36 point 869 so that's one equation I can get another equation by resolving in this direction in which case I've got 16 is equal to mg times cosine of 36.869 so from the second equation here I can find what m is m is 16 over g which is 9.8 times cosine 36.869 so I can find what m is so I can say uh, 16 over 9.8 times the cosine of my answer that we got before that gives me 2.04 kilograms that's what m is we can write that as 2.0 if you want because we've got you you can use 3sf or 2sf and the value of f well f is going to be our 2.04 mg times 9.8 times the sine of our angle 36 0.869 okay so we're going to have this angle this this value times 9.8 times the sine of the angle which we stored as b okay which is 12 so the force is 12 newtons okay so that's m and that's f and that's the answer to this question